Oh, welcome back to your feel good kickstart to the day. Now, of course, I'm, I'm still trying to, to um, come to terms with what you were talking about earlier that people are actually betting on babies, but it seems the Royals, <laughs> they're very much in the news at the moment, and even those connected to the Royals. Indeed. What is Cressida up to? Yeah, man. Well, the deal is right now that Prince Harry's ex girlfriend, Christina Bonus, has revealed uh, to UK's Sunday Times that life as a Royals plus one isn't all that it's cracked up to be. She actually told him that the constant publicity, which was often inaccurate reporting, became increasingly overwhelming. And uh, fortunately, she figured out that the best way to survive it as a Royals girlfriend is to ignore it all, you know? She even went on to say that, um, you know, all that stuff is not real. It's really important to remember that it's all noise. Noise that can be very loud at times. But she says, I'm a lion, I'm not tough, but I'm strong. Uh, adding also that I'm definitely not a wallflower. So she can stand up for herself. Christina mm. Bonus just put it to the media. But isn't that what the boys get right? So And they do it so well. They just laugh it off. They really do <laughs> use their, their platform for good. But they seem to just kind of exist in the middle of that storm and, and nothing really Look, flaps them, which is It great. must be difficult for anyone to step in as a Royals plus one. It really must be. And I mean, the fact that she's handling it so well, I mean, yeah, let's give a round of applause. She's a lion. Yeah. She's a lion. And in other news <laughs> as well, uh, bookies bet on Kate Middleton's now baby, baby sex. I mean, really? What? <laughs> so the bets <laughs> are in right now. So with Kate Middleton and the Prince, uh, uh, Prince William's second child expected to be arriving in the coming weeks. Fans are hedging their bets over what sex the next royal baby will be. In fact, 82% of wages at Ladbrokes or Ladbrokes uh, are saying, um, excuse me, are saying that it's going to be a girl. What do you, have you guys thought about it? Would you put your I money I think everyone out? wants a girl. You know, I've just got this image of a guy going in, I'm going to bet on, on the Springboks winning the Rugby World Cup and I'd like to put on another 50 pounds on the baby being a girl. Yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. And also in terms of the name, um, a lot of people are saying and they're betting that the next, uh, the next royal baby's name is going to be Alice. If it's a girl, okay. If it's, if it's a girl, Alice. No, I think, I think that's the popular emotional choice would be to have a girl and Alice And if it's a boy? Great. Well, if, she, if they say, however, if she gives birth to a boy, they're saying Arthur, Henry or Charles will be uh, the name of the baby. All right, so very all sweet. Right. Well, if you, if you do care to know about that, let us know on our Facebook page, Expresso Morning Show, SABC3. Will it be a girl? Will it be a boy? Will it be Arthur, James, Mary, Alice or <laughs> Kate Middleton the second? <laughs> well, today is the first day in Elizabeth Arden's eight-week journey to Florida skin. Uh, let's meet the experts that will be teaching us everything we need to know to enhance our natural beauty.